nailed by my nigga Bird. What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Bax back at us with another banger. And today I am here with the best playmaking shot creator, shooting, playmaking, defense, and finishing badges on this game. Man, I look, y'all been in the comments for the last like month, man. Just asking me in my DMs, what's the badge on your play shot? What's the badge on your slasher, your two-way playmaker, whatever. Look, every single time that I drop a video on my slasher or my play shot, I show the badges in the intro. I show the badges in the intro, my SIGs. My jump shot, I show all that in the intro. If y'all watch the whole video, y'all will have the badges, the jump shot, all that. But look, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be the last time that I dropped this like video this year, like the badge video. The reason why is because like bro, 2K has like eight weeks left, right? Two months left. So for these last two months, I'm trying to get like you know what I'm saying some creative videos out. The game has been out for 10 months. If y'all don't have the right SIGs by now, the right badges, jump shot, whatever, then I don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So for the last two months, one jump shot video. One six video, you know what I'm saying? But I doubt I drop another badge video, you know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of holding my ideas for 23, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of ideas, but I'm holding them for 23, you know what I'm saying? Because it'll be a lit year, I hope, you know what I'm saying? Because this is just kind of like, it was just bad. Like 21 was bad, but at least it was lit, you know what I'm saying? Like 21 got good views, you know what I'm saying? It was a lit game, people were on it, but this game is just trash. No one be on it, you know what I'm saying? Hardware wars, no events, like it's all around just a disaster. Like this game is really bad. And then it's next gen, current gen, no cross play. And this, oh my god, it does not make sense. I right, but look, either way, man, if you have any ideas, creative ideas, you know what I'm saying? If you want a bad video again, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know in the comments. Be honest, whatever you want, be specific as well. In my comments, my Twitter DMs, whatever it is, all right? Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the notice. I'm about to get to the badges right now. Hope y'all enjoy. Go be great, and I'm out. Before I get into the video, I gotta tell you guys about this new app I just started using called Prize Picks. If you're not familiar with Prize Picks, basically it's the easiest way to play daily fantasy sports. It's also one of the only legal apps to sports bet in almost every single state. Basically, how Prize Picks works is that they give you various options for different sports. It could be esports to basketball to football, and they give you different options to bet on in the app. They give you a set option, so it could be 5.5 rebounds. You could put over or under. You could also check how that player did in that stat. So you could check Luka Doncic's three point made in the last five games jay crowder they give you all the stats for these players you are able to put up to five picks in one entry the more picks that you put in one entry the more money you can make you can do a flex play or a power play the flex play basically gives you like a chance to get your money back if you get one wrong but a power play is all in if you put five picks and get one wrong on a power play you will get no money back but if you put five picks and get one wrong on a flex play 
you can get some of your money back. But if you get all of them right on a power play, you'll get more money. If you get all of them right on a flex play, you will get less money. But as you can see, I paired up the Luka Doncic 0.5 points prize pick special that they put every couple days. Luka's one of the best players in the league, so obviously he's gonna get one point at least. And Devin Booker is kind of a hit or miss, but 4.5 assists for him is kind of low. You can see his last five games on the app, and you can see it's kind of lower than usual. For $20, I can make up to $60 on this bet right here. It's so easy and it's so fast to do. I can make an entry in less than 60 seconds. I almost forgot the best part about using this app right here whenever you guys are signing up on your new account on price picks you can use my code hoodie backs so basically if you put in a hundred dollars they will give you a hundred dollars free so you can use that to put more bets in so if you deposit ten dollars after using my code price picks will give you twenty dollars back if you deposit one hundred dollars they will give you two hundred dollars back this will only work if you sign up and use the hoodie backs code you see on the screen right now if you guys need any good picks to make as much money as possible on this app use my code Go on my Twitter, show me proof, and I will send you guys my picks every single day because I've been going crazy on this app, making a lot of money. Besides that, I'm gonna get to the video right now. Shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Hope y'all enjoy, man. And I'm out. All right, I'm in my court right now, about to get to the best badges on this game, man. Before I get to it, like I said, give a thumbs up right now. Subscribe, share with your friends, go in the comments, let me know whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever ideas you got. Just let me know. Or go to my Discord, Twitter DMs, PlayStation. Just find me somewhere, right? Let me know. But either way, the best badges right here on this game. All right, I'm gonna start with the shooting. All right, now look, I have 28 shooting because I had level 40 three times. Well, no, I'm lying, four times. Wait, yeah, four times, four times. Now look, if I had 25 shooting, I would put Chef Silver and Gold Dead Eye. Now if you have 26, I'll put Gold Chef. If you have 27, then put Hall of Fame Chef. And if you have one extra like me, put Hall of Fame Dead Eye. All right. Now look, you can't put Green Machine, but if you put Green Machine on. You will get so many full bars. Not a good kind. You know what I'm saying? A full bar where you miss. I don't know why. I put it on silver. I got full bar every single game. It was like it was like 2K20, 2K21. I will get a full bar every single game. Like it was bad. I still get some full bars, but I get a lot less. But either way, blinders, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know by now. It's a good badge. Hot zone. It's been like eight years of this badge, right? It's a good badge. Sniper helps you make whites, but it also helps you green shots as well. This badge right here is for all my guards, you know what I'm saying? After you dribble. Stop dribbling, shoot, and help you make the shot. This right here is just the dumbest badge in the game. Like, if a center's guarding you, you shoot over him, you have a higher chance to green it. And then Dead Eye, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. So, this badge right here is literally like Limitless Range, or what was it called last year? Uh, Range Extender. That shit was so ass. I don't know why they called it that. But either way, this is literally the same exact badge, but after you dribble, right? If you shoot Limitless Catch and Shoots, then you gotta put Limitless Spot up. But I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? I only shoot off the dribble, so you know what I'm saying? I'm a point guard, I double the ball. But if you like a damn pure sharp, like a pure stretch, you know what I'm saying? This badge right here is good for you, but you know what I'm saying? who the hell is a pure stretch or a pure sharp? You know what I'm saying? There's no boot camp, no formula. Why the hell would you have a damn pure sharp, all right? But either way, all right, for the playmaking put, these four right here. Handles for days, quick first step, tight handles, unpluckable on Hall of Fame. Now, you could put this one right here on gold, but if you put it on gold, you will get plucked a lot more, I promise you guys. But you could put it on gold. I put a Hall of Fame. If you're a 6'2 guard, put it on gold. If you're like 5'11", you know what I'm saying, 6 foot, you can put it like bronze silver. And then that's pretty much it, you know what I'm saying. If you're like 6'1", put it gold. But if you're like 6 foot, 5'11", around that range, you can put it silver or bronze. But like I said, if you're 6'2", 6'1", make sure to put it gold, at least. All right, you could put a Hall of Fame, but you know what I'm saying, I, you only need to, all right? If y'all don't know, Quick Chain literally helps you get tight handles, all right? So if you got Hall of Fame Quick Chain, you'll get way more tight handles, all right? But if you have it like bronze, you will get a lot less, all right? But like I said, if you're a smaller guard, you don't need it that much. But if you're a taller, you need it more. You know what I'm saying? I put it on gold sometimes. Sometimes even Hall of Fame, all right? This right here is Flashy Passer in Lob City. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty self-explanatory. I put a Hall of Fame because I'll be throwing lob sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Throwing flashes, getting my teammates take over. And then Bullet Passer, you just like, I put a silver, all right? Now look, if you have 24 playmaking, put this on gold, all right? Straight like that. That's all I gotta say, all right? For defense, all right? I got Boss Tripper Silver, Hustler Silver, these right here on bronze, you know what I'm saying? Pretty self-explanatory. I ain't gonna explain it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. If you are a play shot, for some reason, guarding the ball, put this right here, all right? Just put this right here, all right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but sometimes I do have to guard ball on a two or something like that. I'll put clamps gold, this gold, and then mess on bronze, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you're a play shot guarding the ball, you might need to, you know what I'm saying, delete the build, all right? And then right, this right here, I feel like Slithery and Limitless Takeoff is the best one. You know what I'm saying? You can put either or, but I just put Limitless Takeoff the whole year. I don't drive in anyway, because look, when I drive in the paint every single time, I get blocked, snatch blocked. Oh my God, bro, it's bad. Like, I get pinned on the backboard. I'm literally a Warriors fan, all right? So when I go to the paint and I get pinned on the backboard, blocked by James, 
I get PT like I get the flashbacks. Like it was not a good moment. I get the PTSD. But either way, those are the best badges right there. By the way, make sure to put. I only have one game of boost. God damn, I'm broke as hell right now. But look, if you're a point guard, get playmaking boost, steal boost, and jump shot boost. Right, and Gatorade if you can. You know, you don't have to, but if you don't have Gatorade, you get tired a lot faster. But if you have Gatorade, you can dribble a lot longer. Right. So I promise you, it does come in clutch a lot. But if you don't got VC for it. Don't buy it. Don't waste your last VC on some damn Gatorade, all right? I promise you, just, just don't play with Gatorade. But either way, those are the best badges right there, man. If y'all need the six or like the bill, whatever y'all need, go in the comments right now. Let me know. Creative ideas too, you know what I'm saying? Go in the comments. Let me know. Go my Discord, Twitter DMs. If you haven't, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn the notice, all right? Share with your friends, whatever. Besides that, see boy backs. Go be great. Let me know if the badges work for you. Hope y'all enjoy it. And I'm out.